Welcome, I'm Massimo Capra, and I'm here in beautiful, historical Lunenburg, Nova Scotia, the fishing capital of Canada. Why am I here? Because I travel the world in search of the freshest food, always. And today I'm going to meet up with my friend, Chef Conrad. We're going to cook up a seafood feast. Let's go get them. Hey, Massimo. Conrad, how you doing, man? Good, how are you? How's everything? Good, good. All right, fantastic. So, welcome to Lunenburg. Well, thank you. You got a great place over here. Yes. Totally. Got all the seafood for tonight yet? No. You know what? We will go to the market. Lunenburg has a nice, fantastic market. Small town markets are really great. You can get a good feel for the area. You can talk to all the farmers and all the producers. I love that. And you know what? I found out that Conrad is really the big guy in town. And I mean big. The Lunenburg Market is basically a gathering place for the community. People come here to buy produce, chat with the vendors and even meet their friends. I love it here because all the products are local and seasonal. Get some fresh vegetables. Yeah, what, uh, what are you buying? What are you buying? Let's buy some tomatoes. You know what How this many? makes me feel like having? A, a little pasta with tomato and basil, you know? I'm gonna be totally typical, you know? All right. You know, nice al dente spaghettini with a uh, little fresh tomato just chopped. But not now, not now. Let's let's talk about what we're okay, not gonna need for later. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah, this one. Uh, oh, yeah, this one. I, I don't care about having them red. I'd rather have them good. This one. This one is for sauce. This one is for salad. That's right. Yeah. Because this is uh, overripe, you know what I mean? This is good for a sauce. You make a beautiful sauce with this one here. Yeah, you're making a lot of Italians yeah. happy here, yeah. <laughs> That's a good thing. I love the little farmer's market, right? you know what I mean? Where you have uh, local people growing local stuff in local soil. Because it tastes better, it's fresher. All the nutrients are still there. Oh, yeah. And we're going to eat them. We're going to fatten up a little bit. Oh, well. You <laughs> it's tastier, you know what I mean? It's, it's the local thing that you have to look for. If it's organic, it's a bonus on top of it. When you're cooking, you really need to taste the product before you buy it. I love local markets because tasting is allowed. And I did a lot of that with Conrad. Come on, we have to get the right tasting ingredients. Okay, Massimo, now I introduce you to a nice guy, Peter. He's my oh. muscle supplier. Hi, Peter. Hello. Nice to see you. I introduce you to Massimo. Nice Pleasure to meet you. Massimo, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Does the water make a difference in terms of uh, the quality and the, uh, and the, well, the flavor of the muscle? Well, you've heard of terroir, of course, with right. wine. Well, we think of meroir <laughs> with the sea. So, yeah. Okay. yeah, I think it does. All aboard. So what do you think? We can catch some fish like this? All right, man. Hey, let me like some of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at all the birds over there. Talk about fresh. Peter took us right to where his workers were harvesting the mussels. How many pounds of mussels are growing on one of the string? One of those 100 meter lines, we like to get about 8,000 pounds off, something like that. The lines had rows and rows of mussels. As the line was reeled in, the guys blasted them with ocean water to clean them. Whoa. These guys tossed a small sea urchin in our barge. I guess they didn't know you could eat it. Oh, this yeah. starfish, not so much. So back in the water. Whoa. Nothing in it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, there is. There's a little bit. Yeah, yeah not cool. much. Not much. Yeah. No. Not much. No. It's a baby. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that little thing. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sea urchin, huh? Yeah. That tastes different. It tastes, it tastes fresh, man. I want some. Here, let me... Mm. Good. <laughs> yeah, that, that is good. Small, but it's good. Oh, I can't reach. 
That was a good experience. Good, yeah? yeah. We're going to have to eat more. Because it didn't really reach the bottom of my, you know, just right there. <laughs> you know what? Let's get some mussels and cook up a feast for and our guests. Nice amount. Nice amount of mussels. I oh, love yes. it. All right, let's do it. Good. Let's get to shore. <laughs> we're still on the water. We're running out of gas now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> this was great. We were getting mussels directly from the water where they were grown. You cannot get any fresher than that. The guys brought the day's catch on the dock so Conrad and I could pick our own mussels. I just love that. All right, what do we got here, man? Okay. Whoa, look at that. That's a lot. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. That's fantastic. How much are we going to pick up? We have a lot of people down here. All right, it should be enough. Do it right in the boat. <laughs> let's do it. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of Imagine this. We picked up fresh fish right from the fisherman as he was bringing in the daily catch. Lobster, scallop, halibut. You can't get any fresher than this. I can't wait to be cooking this meal. <laughs> Lunenburg not only has an amazing waterfront, but also has an established marine industry. Every morning the docks are alive with fishing ships bringing in the catch. Conrad timed it just right. He knew a fishing ship that was offloading fresh scallop pre shocked and bagged. We had to get some for our meal. Just a hole in the boat over there. Right? Yeah. Oh, it's coming. Wow, 28 thousand people. That's a lot of shocking. Do they have a machine that shocks them or do they do it by hand? Do it by hand. Everything by hand. Everything by hand. We're gonna eat some of these ones. Here you go. Oh. Usually, usually the fishermen will eat them raw. Really, eh? Yeah. I'm not a fisherman, I'll eat it raw anyway. I'll let you try it first. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? <laughs> oh, come on. Mm. This, this is fresh cabbage. Oh. So sweet. Yeah. That is delicious. Mm. I just grow them very short and never grow them well done. No. Absolutely. That's a real flavor, man. Mm. Yeah. Let's amazing. grab it back. Let's do it. Take it. All right. <laughs> you want me to grab the other one? Grab the other one. Grab the other bag? Okay, for me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a, that's a big amount of scallops. That second bag is for me. I love scallops. Look at that, man. Whoa. <laughs> that's awesome. Look at that. Yeah. I haven't seen this size in a long time, man. This is roughly 130 pounder. 130 pounder, eh? So, the yeah. famous Atlantic halibut. The famous Atlantic halibut. I have not seen this kind of size in 20 years. Oh. I can't wait to eat a piece of this. Sorry for it, but uh, you know, I mean, it's life. The cycle of life continues. The cycle of life. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna grab it and uh, wrap it it. You That's gonna right. carry it or? No, you have to help me. Really? No, come on. <laughs> come on. I had no, a good breakfast, but. Come on. <laughs> we have to get some wrapping paper first. <laughs> <laughs> can't carry this. I mean, this is way too heavy. Get this ball. I don't know. How many yeah. people can you feed with this? 130 pounds. You're gonna have 260 people. Exactly. Okay, Martin, I think this is a little bit too big. Let's get this. <laughs> yeah, one. let's get the little one. <laughs> Hang on. Let me grab a bucket of it. All here. right. How about that? All right. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, hey, something is missing here, eh? Somebody went at the cheek already. He's got a bit of fisherman. The fisherman. One of, one of these yeah, guys over here, eh? They know See? what's good. Look at that one. He's smiling over there. He knows. <laughs> he knows the best right, part buddy. of the Hollywood. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's, let's go. In. Can't wait to cut this up. All right. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Happy fishing. <laughs> Hey, look at this thing, eh? Yeah. These are one pounders? These are one pounders. One pounder. uh, nice yeah. little lobster. Do you know the difference female and male? Yeah, they got the high heels on. Exactly. Yeah. No, you don't like that. Tick, 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 tick. So this is where they put the eggs, right? That's right, yeah. 
Is that under there, yeah? under the tail? Right. Okay. So and the lobster man, if he catches the lobster right. and he sees uh, eggs on it, he Push have, it back. He have to throw it away. It's so, a feisty one. That's a feisty one. That's your old girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Better put it back in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, get rid of it. Okay. You're gonna be in trouble for that one. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I need about five for my pasta. All right. Yeah. All right. I do the uh, lobster semido. Ah, so, so you need I big will, ones, right? I will cook them or yeah. steam them. Yeah. Cut them in half. Take the meat out. Make a nice mushroom sauce. Okay. You know what time it is? It's almost lunch time. Please, don't get okay. me going. Good. All right. I mean, come on. <laughs> Let's get some lobsters. Huh? Okay. Let okay, me. You grab them. Okay. You come them. with me. Look what I just discovered. That's Look a good at that. one, isn't that? What a beautiful look at the look at the claws on that thing. All right, I want some females. All right, hey, stop it. You, I'm assuming I'll take you. Man, this water is cold. Here you go. Five. I got my five. Now we have to weigh them. Ten point nine. My pop. Your pop. 8.9, but take away 8 pounds for the box. <laughs> All right. All right, let's okay. do it. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you guys. Bye. Ah. Finally, we are going to be cooking. But I didn't realize how much food corner than I picked up. Man, we have a lot of work ahead of us, but our guests are going to be really happy. Okay, Massimo, let me introduce you to my kitchen. Oh, that's fantastic. You laid yeah. out everything. That's right. That's the mussels that we got yesterday. Yeah. That's the oh, halibut. Yeah, that, that's a beautiful fish, isn't it? Yeah. And the great vegetables. Right. You know, the scallops, scallops. I see. Okay, that's perfect. Right. Yeah. So, anyway, this, this is the last thing that we need then. That's right. Huh? But before we start, I thought. Oh, first thing, what, what do you think? We, we don't know how to play with knives here. I don't know. I, I'm just scared for my safety. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We don't fish that big, eh? That's right. Okay. It's okay. You keep that. Uh, Let's put away these mussels. Yeah. You got some big mussels. Yeah, I give it to you. All right. Oh All right. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. So let me. Yeah. Let me. Let me put this close by. <laughs> you never know. All right. So what I do? I will cut around the thing here. Firm, huh? Cut it right in the middle. You've done this a couple of times this year. I've done this a couple of, couple of times. First you need the first aid kit. You need the first aid kit? We don't know how to play with knives here. Sure enough, Conrad needed the first aid kit. He nicked himself prepping the halibut. I tell you, he was careful after that as he cut yeah. the fish into nice sections. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever done that? No. You fight, you know, yeah, people right. like that. <laughs> My job was to separate the meat from the skin. We put it away, okay, and then we're gonna put away the scallops too. We got the scallops? Yeah, these are beautiful, huh? Yeah, nice. I'm gonna eat some of that. Remember you Yeah, yeah we did yes, delicious. You wanna cook the lobster? Okay, let's cook the lobster first. All right, let's do the lobster first. At first? This was Charlie and Luisa. Charlie and Luisa. How long do we cook them for? Eight to ten minutes. Eight to ten minutes, yeah. okay. Yeah. Eight minutes, start. I'm going to start my tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, just uh, guaranteed to make you cry, the girl said, huh, yesterday? Did you say? I'm going to give it a quick rinse. We had a lot of food to prep and cook. From boiling, washing, chopping, searing, to seasoning everything. The thing is, we're gonna make it good and delicious. Can you hear that? That's oh, done, that's done. Oh, How much you over here? You see? Oh, what are you gonna do? Just pick them up with your hands? <laughs> see? Can you take the. The lid? Oh, yeah, of course. Give you the bottom. Conrad <laughs> put the freshly cooked lobster in a tray with cold water to stop them from cooking so that the meat stays tender. Right. Yeah. Can you help me out with the oven over here? Sure. This is new stuff for me. Make it 200 if you can. Here's my carrots. Hey, how's your bleeding over there? Look at that. I pretend I didn't see that. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Good. Because I'm going to cut this now. Look. Ah. Wow. Yeah. That's a... Uh, feel how woody this is. Feel that. Yeah. Huh? Beautiful. All right. 
You ever work with this? Uh, I don't even know so much. Smell as sweet there is. Beautiful. I'm from a part of Italy where squash is very important. We make the ravioli with uh, pumpkin over there, right? That's uh, my hometown dish. So where are you from from Italy? In Cremona. Yeah, I gotta be careful with my fingers here. I don't wanna cut myself like somebody else did, you know? I wonder what you are talking about. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing, Shatsi? <Shazi? laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. We were almost done. Just a few more items to prepare. So we had a little fun. Oh, I lost a finger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we put it in, and then we go to the stove. Let's do that. There was a lot of food on the market over there, right? Sure. To talk to the people with the bread. <laughs> Thank God you have your order put away, yeah? Eh? Pinch of salt. We let this boil. Uh, wow, beautiful. Is people asking for seconds. A little bit of cream in here. I love the color, eh? Gonna boil them. I was looking for this. See, pistachio, yellow. Look at that. Good, huh? Delicious. Told you. Mm. An incredulous guy from Lunenburg. Everything was coming along great. Our vegetables were done, and Conrad was about to start making the lobster dish. How are you coming along with your stuff over there? I'm working hard. You're working hard? I'm working hard. That's not the idea. Open up the cheese with then let's fork over some slices. Wanna try it? Oh yes, of course. I'm the official mouse in my restaurant, you know. Mmm. We should get the rest of the garlic. This pasta we need quite a bit of garlic. Uh, what are you making right now? I do the... Uh, the Thermidor, right? The Thermidor, right? Okay, beautiful. Nova Scotia lobster is world famous, and cooking lobster is very straightforward. Just boil a pot of water, add salt, dip the lobster in the head first, cook it for about 8 to 10 minutes per pound for the perfect lobster taste. Everything needed to happen, and fast. Lucky for us, we had an extra hand. Kyle. Hey, Kyle, how are you? Yeah, Thank right. you for showing up. Thank you. What I want you to do is I basically want you to cut them straight in half like that. Okay, sure. idea from uh, lobster. You want to touch this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's delicious, huh? Yeah. Sure they're ready, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Let me see. Is that right? Perfect. Oh, you got lots, huh? I saw Conrad topping off the lobster thermidor with lots of cheese. That's the way I like it. This one, you see that? I'm gonna put the mushrooms, a little bit of garlic, not too much. Those, 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 some yeah. Yeah. those ones, okay, yeah, I got it. I got all the sauces. So it's just gonna do that. No, after one do that. A nice dark beer would be great in this dish. When the mushroom smell starts coming out, the yeah. wine is all gone, right? Then you got the, the bouquet of the wine, huh? A little pepper. This is the sauce for the fish, for my halibut, yeah. You know why? Eh? It's immediate. Look at that. Let's get a fork and let's taste it. You know we're making everybody jealous at home, man. Eh? Mm. Mm. That's what you do. It's really good. It's How do you think we got like this? And I understand you have to taste it, but come on. Come on, skinny guy. Get in it. <laughs> Okay, scallops are one of the more versatile seafood to prepare, but you have to resist the temptation to overcook them or overgrill them. You know, I even like them raw. I love them raw. Try them sometime. The final dish was the halibut. I sliced it into nice, healthy portions. And then Conrad added a dish to our menu from his homeland. Oh, beautiful. Champagne. Champagne. Ooh. That's, uh... 
So what, a gas in the champagne? Yeah, yeah. Better in the champagne than in you, eh? <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> so crabs are cooked by fermenting, no, no, by, uh, not, be, not because they're being heated. No. So sauerkraut will be good for raw food. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I will put a little bit yeah. of sugar in there because I make it... Sugar as well? Yes. Really, huh? Yeah. But I need more sugar, you know? It's just, we say that we put like sour and sugar, <laughs> it gives it a lovely taste. These are going to broil. Same temperature, I've done everything today. 450. Let me put this in. Ooh. In the meantime, here we go, let's go walking. Leeks. And then we put our lobster. Got some more jus from the water. Scallops of them. Look at that. Wow. See? Yeah. A little salt in the bottom. You couldn't get this anywhere else but in the Atlantic Canada. Yes, they will still in the ocean. And today is going to be in our ocean. Oh, yes. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah, the plastic cut. All right. Is this al dente? Let's see. Come right. Here, taste that. Yeah. Hey. If the German chef is going to add sauerkraut to this meal, the Italian one is going to have to add pasta. That's what I call, that's what I call under. Al dente. It's got to come off. Al dente. Ready? Perfect. Well, I'm waiting for the fish and you, buddy. All right. Onion. Yeah. Celery. Yeah. And now carrots. Good. Wow, beautiful. The fresh mussels we got from Peter look delicious, so we cooked lots of them. All right, Conrad and I realized that we are out of time. Nothing is more stressful than hungry people waiting for their food. No matter how good you make it, they're never going to be happy. But we are never going to let that happen. Okay, beautiful. So we have this one plated. Look we have beautiful. the pasta. We're going to bring it in the wok. Yeah. I think we should bring this one in the, pot, in the pan. Okay. Just as these. Yeah. Okay? All right. And you bring the sauerkraut like as they are. So All we're right. going to set up the buffet. So let me put the sauce and then we go. Eh? Yeah. Okay, we have to That's go now though. Right. Let's go, man. Sure. Okay. I carry this, you carry that. Let's All go. Right. Perfect. This was shipping up to be a great feast. Maritime food infused with a little German and a little Italian. The food was a really big hit and the guests really enjoyed it. One problem, we forgot to make some for ourselves. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to eat the compliments. Conrad is a soft-spoken guy who's really passionate about the food he cooks. And Lunenburg is great. You can just walk out your hotel door and find the fishermen find your market with all the produce and everything is super fresh and that's the way I like it. Bon appetito! <laughs> <laughs>